hello guys welcome back to technetics youtube channel in this video we will see accenture coding question part one in this video we will see the question that is recently asked today on the 20 september exam 2023 okay so let's start before going ahead uh, i just want to let you know guys that uh, we have made videos at, you know, on different topics of accenture tcs with pro and lot of other stuff also so please go and watch out all of videos all videos of them okay so that uh, we can get more engagement from your side and we will motivate to make more videos with very enhancement and uh, engagement so let's begin with this question so the question is alex is a alex alex is given a number and okay alex alex got a number he has to check whether the number is a matter number or not so what is matter number matter numbers are the numbers that are divisible by 1 2 4 and 8 but not by 10 okay your task is to find the number of matter number in the range of 1 to n the question is very easy if you read this question 1 to 2 time you will get to know what exactly they are asking about okay so what is happening here alex is a person who got one number that is n and that person needs to check that that number is a meta number or not okay and if the, the what is that meta number meta number as we know that that should be divisible by 1 2 4 and 8 okay but not by 10 okay so we have to find the total number of meta number in between range to 1 to n that's it okay so there is a input and output and there is input and output these are the test cases that we need to fight okay so in in the in this question we have we have two things that we need to keep in our mind that our number should be divisible by 1 2 4 and 10 but not by 10 okay and we have to count the total number of meta number from 1 to n so we will use one counter flag which will go through loop and condition check then it will increment okay so let's go to the basic round okay this is basic uh, coding editor that we are using online for on, on for online platform okay so let's start okay if we run this code then we will find that this is hello world okay it will print hello world so let's begin public we are using java if you know any other language then you can implement same logic in your own language okay so though that's not an issue just just i'm trying to get you know the logic that's it okay so publish public static okay int public static int count meta number okay that's what and here int n okay so this is a method in java okay which is public accessible to every thing okay and uh, in this we are passing one number that we need to calculate okay let's say here we are creating one integer variable that we are assigning the value of count zero okay now what what we need to do we need to do we need to run a loop for int, int i is equal to zero okay and i should be less than n okay or is equal to n okay then i plus plus why we are running this code to n because we need to check from 1 to n okay or we can run simple this code from 1 okay 1 to n okay now what condition is given in our code question that it should be divisible by 1 2 4 8 but not by 10 okay so this this is very simple logic that we need to put here okay nothing worry about this okay so we do not uh, do any other thing it is very simple thing that we need to implement so let's implement okay so what is happening here that our i our i should be divided by 1 okay is equal to equal to 0 this is our first condition okay this is our first condition and 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 again one more condition i percent percent 2 is equal to equal to 
zero. That is our condition that we need to check. Okay, so in this manner, what what are the what are other condition that we have? Okay. Um. Okay. I percent one. I percent two is equal to zero, and I percent is divided by four is equal to zero. And then and I percent is that is divided by eight equal to zero. And I percent is ten equal to not equal to zero. So this is our condi condition. Okay. If this condition is working fine, then what we will do? We will do count is equal to count. Count plus. Uh, what exactly this line is doing? So the condition in the question is asked this. Ask this that. Your task is to find the number of meta number in between one two and and it should be divisible by one two four eight and eight. Okay, so it is it is divisible by one two four eight and then ten. Okay, and it should not be divisible by ten. That's why we are putting here not equal to zero. Okay, remember this thing. If this logic is working fine, if this condition is true, then what what it will do? It will count that that it is checking. What? How many total number of meta numbers? Okay, in the present one to n, one to the range of, okay. So that's what I what we are doing. Okay, so this loop is done. Here, what we are doing? We will here we will return the number of count. That's it. Okay, it's too much easy. This is very easy question. If you are not able to attempt, then definitely there is a question to your preparation. Okay, there is no. Rocket science, it is very simple. Now what we need to do? Now we just need to put some. Now we need to scanner as C is equal to scanner because in in Java we need to take some input and this is how we take input in Java. Okay, we have made videos on Java as well, so you can check out them. As well, so that you will get to know about how to take input and basic things about Java. If you know, don't know OOPs concept, then I have made videos on that that as well. So you can check import Java dot util dot a scanner. This is what what we are we are imposing the we are importing the class from the Java util package. Okay, that's what we are doing here. Okay, now what we are doing we are creating one integer int n is equal to Okay, as the scanner is used for taking the input from the user. Okay, this is how we take the input. That we are coming to taking input from the user. Okay, user. That's what we are doing here. Here now we are connect count or total. Number of meta. Okay, total number of meta. Here, okay, what we will we will call this method. Okay, and what what we will do? We will pass this number. We will pass this number. Okay. So what is happening? If this at this, it will return the total number of count here and It will store in this. Now we can simply print total number of meta numbers in between space and plus and what is the value of n n and then plus again space and then space. Okay, then. We are here. We need to put this variable. So this is our whole program. Let's run and check the basic input output. Okay. Okay. So let's run this question. I hope there should be no error. Yeah, there are some error. Let's check illegal start of expression. Okay. What's the issue? 
i percent 10 divided uh, not equal to 0 so let's check something there must be some wrong thing what is happening and then okay so here we start the bracket and we close that bracket okay that's okay that's okay i percent 1 equal to equal to 0 that is correct and then i percent 2 equal to equal to 0 okay that's this is the problem i i guess there should be no problem now okay again there is a problem so okay what is happening here okay this is because of i am doing it in very hurry <laughs> that's why okay no issue run again okay now let's put 20 total number of matter number in between 20 is 2 okay so that's what we are expecting from input and output and if we put if we put 13 you will find total number of matter number in between uh, 13 is 1 okay so this is all about this question i hope you like our content please do subscribe our youtube channel so that you will get to know more about uh, this accenture coding stuff and a lot of other companies as well thank you for watching this video